Hello crafters, today I'm back with a new one stamp five cards where I create five cards with one stamp set and today we're using the alt new Dahlia Blossom set. This is a beautiful set and there's a lot of different stamps and they layer up beautifully. So for the first card I decided to use some stays on opaque white and I'm going to be stamping on grey cardstock. I saw this beautiful idea actually it was from an alt new design team member and they created a beautiful card with the grey and the white. Mine didn't turn out as I wanted it to, I think my um, grey paper was a bit thin and other factors as well. But you see. Anyway, to start off with, I just took the biggest flower and I stamped that down onto my um, grey panel. And I later cut it down. And then I'm just going to stamp some leaves. Another idea I had was um, stamping the um, opaque solid thing in one layer of white and then the borders in two layers of white. It didn't quite turn out in the end, but, you know, this is what I, it turned out in the end. But I think that would be a very nice idea. So you can always try that. And once that was done, I took a tag of twin marker and I just coloured around the edges to create a, a bit of a border so I didn't have to um, take a whole sheet of um, new paper out and cut it down and ruin it. So this was very easy and very quick and very effective. And then I took some black paper and I matted my grey... Um, my grey my grey panel with the flowers on it and in the meantime I also stamped a sentiment from the set the only sentiment from the set and then I'm just going to stick that down onto my purple coloured card base so this is the first card turned out very uh, easily and the second card is just um, with three stamps um, stamped down and then a sentiment the next card I already had stamped this out in front of the television one night but I decided to add some um, leaves and I used purples for this from the Memento um, Dewdrop set. And this was my favourite card in the end. I think it just turned out beautifully. And I was really proud of the photography. Not only for this card, but of the entire video. So if you like that, please tell me down below. And I'll really try and do more um, pictures like that. So anyway, I'm just going to take my stamp, the border. I'm just going to stamp that down onto in between the... Um, the flowers and then I'm just going to start with my lightest ink and stamp that and fill it in. And I love how detailed Altenew is, they gave you um, three stamps for each flower so it creates a beautiful flower and obviously the leaves too. And though I didn't really use the smaller flowers, I really wish I had but you know that's for another day. And um, then I just stuck all of that down and it was, it was a bit thinner than a um, normal card base so I just left a bit of a border and then I stamped down a I cut um I stuck down a sentiment and then I cut it off I was stamping something behind but it didn't turn out. So anyway that's my card. For the next card I just had my tree flowers, a purple, a pink and a blue and I stuck them down into a um a vertical line and this is a classic card design that I always seem to be going back to and I really do like it. I think it's really effective but really simple. And then I just cut out a sentiment. I think it's from the Alton New New Day card kit and I'm just going to stamp that down onto the card and it's a very quick and easy card. Well obviously you have to stamp the flowers but it's very quick and easy apart from that. So here's the card. For the next card, I had a whole lot of different pieces um, that I had cut out and stamped but I didn't use. So I decided to um, stick them along the bottom corner of um, my card base and it created a very nice effect but it also used up a lot of the stamps which was great. Not that I don't like them or anything but um, they were just lying around so I thought I'd put them to good use. And then I just decided to cut around the edge and a very quick and simple card and obviously uses up your scraps. So yeah. Hi guys, so I'm back. I'm just, um, I totally forgot to film this, but I'm doing it with my phone. So I'm not sure about the quality. Thanks for watching this video, by the way. And I just want to share with you a little bonus technique. And this is kind of layering the flowers together. This is an ideal stamp for it. So the technique really is quite simple. You just cut around the petals. You can do whatever, whatever formation you want. You can add as many layers as you want. And then you just um, stick them together with some foam tape. I did it here and it really, really adds a lot of dimension to it. And you kind of need two or three to do it. But two should be enough. And yeah. So anyway, bye. Please like, comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye!